all cut off. What's up everyone? Today, Henriette and I are taking you guys on a trip. Um, I had planned to go to this little abandoned town and when I GPSed it, or not when I GPSed it, when I looked it up, um, I found this other place. This town that I'm taking you guys to is one mile, is a, it's a one mile square. The town is called, let me see, how do I, how did I write it? I, I got it pronounced out as a Mekon Opie. Mekon Opie. Um, how did you say it? How, look, 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 look. How did you say it? Mekanopi? Mekanopi. Mekanopi. <laughs> Micanopi. I don't know how it's pronounced, <laughs> but it's a one mile square. And um there is an a mansion here. It's an old it's an old man it's an old mansion like the eighteen hundreds. And it's it's a um bed and breakfast. I tried to get a room but online it said that it was booked. So um there's an old cemetery here. I'm trying to think of what all's here. It's it's just a really small town. I thought it would be something neat to, to go to. You know to explore and do the cemetery for you guys also then there's another town it's called Rochelle Florida and there's a ghost town there and I believe I believe there's a church maybe a schoolhouse um, I think that's in there yeah there's a few things left in that town I want to take you guys over to that town also um, we are almost here we just got off the exit and um, we're gonna have lunch first and then we're gonna, well, we're gonna show you guys around the town. But I wanted to, to let you know what we were doing. And um, yeah, it's a one mile town. We could probably park the car in the center of the town and maybe walk everywhere. I don't know, cause only a mile. Anyways, we're almost there. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, everyone, we're here. I'm meeting up with Thomas, but Henriette doesn't know. And I sent her in the restaurant to get a menu. So here she comes. Did you get one? Huh? The visor is really, really weird. What? The visor is weird. Like, you guys need Texas Chainsaw Massacre visor. Oh, shit. That's know. awful. Does it look expensive? Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is here. <laughs> she got that on camera. <laughs> I did. I hope I didn't get my tags in it because I'll have to Holy cut shit. that part out. Henriette didn't know Thomas was coming with us. That just made the whole freaking day. All right. So I, I don't know if we're eating at this place or not, but we will let you guys know. All right. So what'd you say about the place? So the yearling originally opened in 1952. Cross Creek, Florida, the home of Majority Kid and Rollins, author of The Yearling and Cross Creek. So Arthur of the Yearling. So that is a, a book or a movie. I think it said online yeah. that you should, I thought it said you should read the, maybe it said you should the watch book. the movie. I don't know what it said before you come to the town okay. because the town, Michael J. Fox, um, what did I say, Doc Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Michael J. Fox, Doc Hollywood was filmed in this town. There's probably a lot of other stuff that was filmed here. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take you guys inside and um, get some lunch. All right, it says Micanopy. Micanopy. Oh, let's get Thomas to say it. It's a well. Thomas, how do you say that? Um, my canopy. My canopy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. My canopy. Micanopy. Say it. Me my canopy. <laughs> my canopy. <laughs> I don't Mick know. All right. <laughs> that song has that in oh, it. Oh, so I, I thought Micanopy was only one mile stretch. Yeah. Maybe the, I don't know. I don't think this is in Micanopy. Look how old that sign looks. It does look old. There's a pretty cool um, moon up here too, Thomas. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah like a big moon. Like Iron Man. So this place is called the Yearling, the Yearling Restaurant, and there's a book called the Yearling. Florida Gator, fried green tomatoes. Somebody's coughing to death. Corona. Frog legs. Corona. 
I hope not. Huh? Prime steak. What is that thing? I don't know. Oh, it's like the front of a truck. Oh, let's go down here by this. Um, did you bring that menu? Yes. Oh, okay. There's like a broken down wagon over there too. Here's the cabins over here, Thomas. Oh wow. That's cute. And there, look at the moon. Look at that coach. <laughs> There's the outhouse. I gotta go. <laughs> look at the moon. It's cute. Sorry. Look, guys, he's got eyebrows and a mustache. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And there's an outhouse and a whole bunch of cabins. We already rode through. I think there was, what, five of them, Henriette? I think so. Some of them look Five like of them? It says beautiful cross creek. And I think, you know what I think was, I watched a series on, um, what the heck was it? I watched something on Netflix that was at cross creek. And I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. Where are you going? What is it? Those are for chickens. Oh. I don't want to go all the way back there. You go ahead and get it. You film it or take pictures of it. The yearling, guys. The yearling restaurant. Let's go eat. It's like telling me to read the signs, guys. Eat more cooter. You could get a muck. You want one of them for your um front of your car? Eat more cooter. Hell no. <laughs> the little gift shop. All right, so we gotta go get the story about this yearling book. The yearling. How many of you guys have read the yearling? Let me know. There's some cool stuff in here. All right, so oh, I wanted to see yeah. that cash register. What is this, like the circuit board for the um, for phone the phones, calls? Yeah. Oh, wow. wonder where they got this stuff, you know? That might have been there. That looks like that's written. The Rawlings Homestead. I wonder if that's still here. Let's look at this cash register. Oh, look at the desk. <laughs> Look at the cash register. Didn't we see one of them at that museum we went to? Yes. It's similar to that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I like that dill desk. Oh, look at the price tag on it, $95. It's cute. What you go first? Go ahead. Okay. All right, let me get this alligator. Look at the alligator. That, how long is that thing? Can you imagine? Look at the alligator, guys. I would shit if his head turned and came after us. Oh, it's so big. What would you do if that came out? I just said that. I know. Oh, these poor animals. Look at the bear. I just think he was once alive. He's just little. Like His deer. skin feels funny, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at all the taxidermy, guys. Look at the giant snake. Oh yeah, I do see it. <laughs> look at the look at that deer. It was like he was jumping over a, a barbed wire fence. Aww. I didn't see him. Where? Right under the deer. See him? He's little. Oh yeah, I do. Who wants a skunk?
more alligators. Look, they probably play music up here. Oh, there's so many of them. Look, there's an armadillo, Thomas. They're catching See little it? birds. Look at his eyes. His eyes are pretty. Climbing up the tree. I missed him, didn't I? I have a bad Alright. Look at this thing here. He's got soft skin. See the turtle coming out of the wall? Oh, there's another or snake over there. Kind of water, but it's coming out of the wall. Seventy-five years. Yeah. All right, guys. There she is. Marjorie is the one that wrote the book, The Yearling, right? Yes. We are going to go down and see her house, the house she lived in. She was pretty. Right. Wonder whose house that is. <laughs> is that her? <laughs> This creek. Are you supposed to sign? Where are you no, from? we don't have to. No, I know. There's a really big picture. Oh, okay, you can. <laughs> Go ahead, sign it. This is where you waste it. I saw heat right there. But okay. this is one of the old scales. I think when you open the doors where I felt the heat. Go ahead, honey, let's sign it. Alright guys, so we're gonna sign the book. Jacob Slatter. What does it say where you're from? Let's go down to your house. Ready? Oh, 